How you doing? This is Simon with Longevity Welding. I'm going to introduce two new models here from our TIG Weld lineup. We first have the TIG Weld 200D. It's a dual voltage, uh, 200 amp DC only TIG welder that you can take anywhere with you, plug it into 110 or 220. It has excellent amperage control from 5 to 200 amps, also has pulse, and it's a stick welder. It has arc force control for the stick welder, which actually uh, will allow you to push a 6010 rod when you're on stick mold, and this is how you switch from stick to TIG. Um, it has pulse control, upslope, downslope for TIG welding, uh, also pulse width control from 10 to 90 percent, and pulse frequency uh, from 0.5 to 25 hertz. Um, and uh, overall, it's a very portable unit. It's dual voltage, has a built-in digital display now, and it's the perfect alternative if you need something for a hobbyist or light industrial work. It's high GBT technology, both of these machines are. With the TIGWELD 200DX, it's a 200, AC, 200 amp AC-DC unit uh, that has a lot of controls on it. it. It will rival some of the best units out on the market for a very affordable price. Uh, with this 200 uh, amp AC-DC unit, the TIGWELD 200DX features base current and pulse current, upslope, downslope, preflow. It also has uh, pulse current controls from 5 to 200 amps and base current from 5 to 200 amps. So you could really adjust it low for very light aluminum work. Um, one notable feature is the pulse frequency goes from uh, 0.2 to 300 hertz. You can really pulsate this unit. Pulse width from 10 to 90 percent. You can turn pulse to low and also to high as well as off. Um, AC frequency for, with this unit goes from 20 to 250 hertz, which is excellent for shaping the arc. AC balance from 10 to 90 percent. Arc force will allow you to push a 6 to 10 rod for further penetration. And then you have your star amps and end amps that go from 5 to 150 amps. Post flow. This will also control your post flow of the argon. One cool feature about this unit is the fact that you can actually do lift arc or high frequency TIG, AC DC or TIG and stick like in the TIG well 200. And then 2T 4T on these units is when you're switched to 4T, you actually uh, have your torch as a constant on, so you have to press it again to turn it off. Uh, I'm going to show you how to set up these machines. One big noticeable difference here is you have your negative side here and positive side on uh, here on, on the TIGWELD machine. However, they are reverse on the TIGWELD 200D machine. So this is actually your positive and that's your negative. So how will you hook this up? So ground clamp goes to the positive. Here's the ground clamp. And it has a dense connector there. So you would just put it, push it in and twist it, lock shut. Your torch trigger, here's our torch that's included. Your torch trigger here, on, this is from the TIGWELD 200DX. Um, basically, it's a seven pin connector that connects to the remote control and then you Plug it in, it has a groove, and then you screw it down. Make sure you match the groove, otherwise it won't let it plug in. Quick connector for your uh, quick connect here. Uh, basically, you just push it in, and you have a gas outlet connected to your torch. This is the torch DINS connector. You would actually just pop it in, twist it to the right tight, and it locks in. These two cords on this TIGWELD 200DX model are for our water coolers, so you would actually connect the water cooler like so to, to, to the water cooler. It would go one is an inlet, one is an outlet. Uh, you don't have to use a water cooler with this model, but it, it is an option for you. Then we have, um, on this unit, you would simply connect the ground clamp to the positive, which is the right side, and then uh, the torch to the negative. So that's pretty much the way to set up a TIG, uh, TIG torch here. We include a smaller size WP20 torch with a swivel uh, neck and, uh, or swivel head, I should say. Um, it's a really nice, comfortable grip. Um, this unit comes with the parts that you need, including uh, different size shield cups. If you're going to be connecting a foot pedal, which is included, 
you simply unplug the, the seven pin connector from the torch and plug the foot pedal connector in there. And this foot pedal is a really nice uh, foot pedal that, that doesn't have, uh, it's not too steep so it's very comfortable on the foot. Also has an um, adjustment there to set your maximum amperage. We usually turn it all the way to the right and, and adjust it kind of like a gas pedal on a car to see how much you want to go. Now remember, you could, con you could control this unit from 5 amps all the way up to 200. Uh, the Tigwell 200D also comes with a foot pedal, um, and it, it's a stick holder as well. Connecting the Argon tank here is very simple. You screw in the, the included regulator, and you would basically uh, just, uh, before doing that, you purge the, the bottle just to make sure it clears of any dirt or whatever's inside. Tighten it just a little bit, you don't want to crack it. All right, and then you uh, obviously connect the other end from this line to the machine and open the valve afterwards. So that's pretty much it. That's how you set up the TIG part on these units. We'll have a longevity performance show you how to set it up uh, in another video, but this is just an instructional setup video. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect uh, the TIG torch here, pop it open. For stick welding, you want to make sure that you switch the ground clamp to the negative side. So remember to do that. And you would just match the groove on the DINS connector as well. And you would get this included stick welder. It's a nice stick welder. I like this style more than the twist locks. And then you would connect that to the positive side. Make sure that you match the groove on it in the DINS. Twist it. Shut tight and you're set. So now you got your stick welder, you switch to stick, which is already switched. And uh, and you're ready to stick weld and you know you got your arc force control depending on which rods you're going to be using, 6011, 7018, or 6010 rod. Um, and that's pretty much it. We do include a plug, a 220 volt plug with these machines. Uh, you want to go ahead and actually match your outlet. You may have a different type of configuration on your uh, female receptacle. So this is our new TIGWELD line. Once again, we got the TIGWELD 200D, which is a DC only 200 amp uh, dual voltage unit with pulse control and a stick welder built inside as well with arc force control. Then you have the TIGWELD 200DX, which is a 200 amp AC DC unit that has excellent AC controls from 20 to 250 hertz on the uh, AC frequency. It also um, has great pulse control up to 300 hertz and uh, it has pre-flow and it also has lift arc or high frequency tick. So a really good tick welder that rivals some of the best machines out on the market. Very happy to introduce both of these models. Uh, if you guys want to see how they work, look out for longevity performance. Also check out our welding forum at freeweldingforum.com or click welding form at the top of our page. It'll take you to our community chat board. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video. If you have any questions, uh, we have a, a very excellent staff that will be able to help you out. Thank you.